In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can output your Excel file to multiple tabs or to sheets. By default, Alteryx is outputting everything into the first sheet of an Excel file. So I'll demonstrate how you can do that. So I'm going to bring in a data file. Let me connect to Tableau Sample Superstore. And I'm going to connect to Orders Table. If I add a little browse after that. And let's run this. So what we want in um, the output is basically, the output is going to be an Excel file. But I want to use my um, column called Segments, which contains Consumer, Corporate and Home Office as three different sheets in my Excel output. So how can I do that? Well, we need to specify that in the output. Um, so if I'm going to bring in an output data tool, I'm going to connect it up to my input. I need to specify where I'm going to um, save it. So let's call this Excel output. Uh, it's essential that you change this to either XLS or XLSX. Um, this means that you can have multiple sheets. For example, you can't use an Alteryx database file because they can't contain multiple Excel files. So let's do Excel output and save this. Then this pops up. This is called sheet one. You can change that to uh, different sheets if you want, but we're going to override this. So if I'm going to click on sheet one, and now at the bottom, and this is essential, uh, we want to say take field name or table from the field. So I'm going to change this to say the third option. And this last option indicates which column, and in my case, segment, uh, are going to be the new sheet names. So I'm going to use sheet and run this workflow. Um, once this is finished, and you can see that now, yeah, that in the messages we can see it outputted an Excel file or an Excel sheet called consumer, one called corporate, and one called home office. If we would then open this Excel file, let me click on it, and it should open automatically. It's a bit slow today. Um, then we can see that we have three tabs, consumer, corporate, and home office. So that means that you always need a column in your data set that indicates where the data needs to go to. So hopefully you found this uh, video useful and I'll see you in the next one.